Developers are preparing a full-fledged release of Keychains in Counter-Strike 2. News about the Cache remake, secret anti-cheat updates, an accidental leak of a new Valve game and much more. Hey everyone, long time no see, Max at the microphone again and today I will tell you all the most interesting things that came out today and what you could have missed. And while you have time, check out Skins Monkey. Use code GABEN and get up to a $5 bonus, select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and exchange your own old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. Use code GABEN and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top up bonus. Skins Monkey, links and my code down below. Let's go through everything one by one, lately updates come out extremely rarely, game breaking exploits are not patched for weeks and developers release weird fixes that add even more bugs. This is exactly what happened today. After their attempt to fix the jump boost, it became possible to levitate on the head of a teammate. After a couple of hours, they rolled out another update with a fix, but the situation is kinda cringe. Not only did they weren't fix the boost for a whole year, but after the fix, a new problem appeared. Anyways, a huge number of mentions related to keychains appeared in the files of the new update. The biggest proof that keychains are likely to be added in the near future is that the parameter for their preview has appeared in the game's proto buffs. In a nutshell, this is a file that collects all the current information about what is happening in the game and sends it to the server. Keychains can be attached on certain weapons, most likely only firearms, and use the same base as stickers. That is, you can attach a keychain and anywhere on the weapon. Keychains will be in a separate capsule like stickers, most likely having a separate rarity, which excludes their appearance as an extremely rare item in cases. The most interesting thing is that the developers have added icons and are making it possible to set up keychains in Source 2 tools, which most likely means the possibility of creating keychains from the workshop community in the future. The second major find is a huge number of new lines associated with keychains. I already released a video about this in February, but then there were only hints from the developers and old strings, when now absolutely new info has appeared from the DLL file, which is responsible for the tool called Model Doc. In a nutshell, this tool is used to import pre-made 3D objects from Blender into Source 2 and then configure materials and attachments. The new parameter is responsible for adding keychains that can move and shake independently of the weapon, and settings for normal interaction of two collisions. Just in case, another reminder that the first keychain leaks appeared back in 2017. Then we learned the names of six potential keychains – AK-47, Banana, Bloodhound, Grenade, Plasma Ball and Sugar Skull. A huge amount of additional information about keychains is in the files of Deadlock, a new Valve game that has not yet been announced, but unfortunately I can't show or tell this publicly yet. Also, at the beginning of July a new line appeared in the protobuf responsible for missions or quests, and I'm sure that the next truly big update will be an operation, as they have been working on it since the beginning of close testing. In addition, I would like to mention several anti-cheat updates that were not particularly publicly covered. Over the past month the developers have fixed Rapid Fire, a cheat function that allows you to shoot all bullets at once. But they didn't fix it to the very end and using the leftovers the coders made a double tap, the ability to shoot two bullets at the same time. In addition, the anti-cheat began to issue an automatic ban for 24 hours for using anti-aim. This is a feature that allows you to hide the hitbox of the head behind the wall in order to kill the enemy before he kills you. And also, there are first hints of existence of a separate matchmaking pool for cheaters, so almost an official HVH mode. Roughly speaking, after the anti-cheat module spotted your suspicious behavior and banned you for 24 hours, all future searches will throw you to the same pool of cheaters like you. Yes, it's not that much, but it's good that they are at least doing something in this direction. Not long before that, Fampon showed two new screenshots of the D-Cache remake. On a plant everything is practically unchanged, only visual improvements and on B someone pissed on the floor and dug a hole. And of course, the weird leak of Half-Life 3. More recently, Internet Randoms discovered a mention of a new Valve project in the portfolio of one of the voice actors. It is called White Sands, which may hint at either snow with a hint of the cancelled plot from HL3 in Antarctica or at a military base with a missile range, which has a similar name and is located in the same place where, according to the plot, the events of the first Half-Life took place. 
Practically, the connection with Half-Life is a bit tacked on, but for some reason it suddenly became news to people that the new project under the codename HLX, which Valve has been actively working on for the past few years, is the actual Half-Life 3. Just listen to a short fragment from my video that dates back to December 2022. Well, and HLX, another iteration of Half-Life 3, which was originally designed for VR headsets, but later switched to regular flat-screen monitors. Development began shortly before Half-Life Alex was announced, just when they were finishing up the cliffhanger with the rewrite of the ending for the second episode. So, CSGO Source 2, announcements and teasers in the first or second quarter of 2023. New on Prime in third quarter, but maybe beta will start earlier as it did with Artifact. NHLX should be expected in 2024-2025, unless, of course, it gets cancelled. In the near future, I will try to release a separate video with absolutely everything we know about HLX, and if you've watched until this moment, leave the Valve Time emoji in the comments.